Okay, everyone. So now we are creating our Windows application where we are going to check whether the number is even or odd. And here we are using the if else condition. So first of all, we should take the number from the user. And for that, we will give a message to the user by giving the label. So I'm changing the text of the label into the property section that is enter number. So first of all, user has to enter the number. I'm clicking back. So it is enter number. I need a text box. So with the help of the text box, we can take the input from the user. So we are first of all taking the text box here and just dragging and dropping in front of the label. So this is the text box one. Now I want that whenever I click on the button, so coding should run. So here I am just putting a button here, dragging and dropping, aligning it, giving the text that is check even, means the number is even or odd. So check even is the name of button. I'm giving the name of the form with my name. Let's say I'm giving the name here. So yeah, I'm clicking back. So the form name is changed. Now, if I run this, Afterward, we will be having the output window. You can see that this type of form is here. Now, I want that if I write some number and I click, then afterward, there should be a message box displayed to me that this number is even or odd. We know that the number which is divisible with the two and the remainder is zero, that is called the even number. Other numbers are the odd numbers. So I am just crossing it. First of all, when I click on this button, the text box one text should be taken. So text box one text should be taken into some variable. So on the click of button, the code should run. So I'm double clicking over there. This is the function of the button. Here I will write the coding. I'm declaring a variable dim a as integer. So one integer type variable we have declared, which is a. In this a, I want to store the value which is inside the text box one. So I'm writing a is equal to text box one dot text. Means the text box text box one we are taking and we are first converting to the value because we know that the text should be converted to value and here we are dealing with the numbers. So text box one text is going to the a after converting to the value. Now afterward, we want that if the number is divisible with the two, then it is the even number. So we are applying if here, if number, and where we have taken the number into A. If A mod two, we know that mod means whenever we divide something, afterward the remainder is called the mod. That means A is divisible with two, after that the remainder should be equal to zero. So enter automatically dot net has applied then and the end if the total coding of if will be coming inside this if and the end if so you can see that this is the range here so then is automatically applied here we are having the single equal it is not like the C programming where we are having the double equal for the comparison and single equal for the assignment no single equal is here for the comparison also that means a let's say the a number i have entered four so four mod two four is divisible with two remainder is zero so zero equal to zero this is the true part so here i am writing if it is true i will write the message box so msg box number is e1 so here we have done this afterward if i run this program then afterward we will be having the output window now here you can see that if I write let's say 4, now I click on the check E1. So here is the pop-up, number is E1. So on the click of button this code run, a variable A of integer type is declared. Then afterward the text box text which is 4 taken converted to value saved to A means A value is 4. So if 4 means A mod 2, so 4 mod 2, so 4 divided with 2 is 0. So 0 equal to 0, yes. So number is E1, so that's why it is pop up. Now let's say I am entering some other number 41. So there is nothing going on because I have not applied the coding for the else part. 
you can click on the button nothing is happening because when the condition is false there should be something so i am writing here else else means if the true part this is the true part is not running else part so i will say message box number is odd so here this way we can apply the coding for the odd number now we just run this program afterward if i let's say write 5 click now coding of button will run a is declared a is having the 5 afterward 5 mod 2 the remainder is 1 so 1 equal to 0 false else part number is odd now this pop up is there let's say if i have not given any number what is going to happen check number number is even i have not given any input till the number is even because here it is considering that by default as zero the blank is considering as zero but i don't want if any of the person has not entered some number then you should not be giving it is even it is the wrong option so i should be modifying it so i am giving on the button if let's say i am applying here if text box 1 dot text equal to nothing means user have given nothing in that case i will give a message to the user message box enter number means if you are directly clicking on the button i want that there should be a message enter number now this line i has to put into the else if else if means we can apply the multiple if inside the dot net so here we will apply else if so here you can see that if else if else so multiple else if can be provided if you are having multiple conditions you can provide multiple else if so now we are running this program so i just run over there let's say there is no input over there i click on this button so it is saying me enter the number first i should enter the number now there is nothing so variable a is declared inside the a there is nothing and the text box 1 dot text is equal to nothing this double quotes means nothing is there so then enter number if i write let's say 4 in that case it will first check the first condition so it is false because there is nothing then afterward 4 is present so it will be going to the next 4 mod 2 0 even will run let's say if i enter 41 so in that case first condition check it is not blank second condition check it is not even third it is odd so this way we can make the program of even and odd number and with the help of if else if we can just make this